This Monday night on Raw, we're going to get the blow off to the Kurt Angle text messaging storyline where he has been text messaging a mystery person for a little while now. And he first was talking about how if this gets out, it could ruin me. Now, there's been tons of rumors going around about who this is actually going to be. So I want to give you a quick spoiler warning here because I may know who it is. Now, I want to address some of the rumors here that have been going around about who it could be. And the one that seems to be in the lead is Dixie Carter, the former president of TNA Wrestling. Because Dixie Carter recently appeared on a documentary on WWE.com about Kurt Angle called Kurt Angle Homecoming. She's pretty much done with TNA. TNA has become uh, Global Force Wrestling Impact now officially. Like, they're a completely different company now, even though it's still, you know, the... I guess the lineage of TNA, for lack of a better term, it's a different company now, and she's no longer involved, so they called her up to come and say nice things about Kurt, you know, on the documentary. It's not Dixie Carter. Even though it would be cool if they brought in Dixie Carter because, you know, she's a pretty decent TV heel, I still think Stephanie is probably a more effective and more hateable TV heel, even though I know a lot of people are... uh, kind of sick of her, including me. I think Stephanie should take some some more time off TV and not come back and just be that same character. But I do think this storyline is going to lead to Stephanie coming back. Now, what is the spoiler? Okay, so this information, I received it from a friend of a friend or a friend of somebody who knows people in WWE. It's all I'm going to say. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to sit here and say sources and all that stuff, but... You know, he's been hitting me with some accurate information all year. He's been right about 95% of the time. So the storyline is supposed to be that there's supposed to be an illegitimate love child of Kurt Angle. In other words, Kurt Angle has an illegitimate child. A child that he had with somebody who is not his wife, and that is the storyline. I was really kind of wondering if WWE would ever go back to the super cheesy soap opera story. I was wondering if they would go back to this, but... Apparently, from what I understand, the storyline going forward is that they're going to reveal that Kurt has has an illegitimate love child, excuse me, and that's going to eventually lead to Stephanie coming back and down the road lead to a match with Triple H, Kurt Angle versus Triple H. Now, I do want to see Kurt Angle wrestle again. I think everybody who's a fan of wrestling loves Kurt Angle and knows he's amazing, even though his neck has not been the best. He's tremendous. I don't know if I want to see him wrestle Triple H. Even though it would be a pretty big match for WrestleMania, I would probably like to see him wrestle somebody, I guess, on the current roster. Um, Obviously, Daniel Bryan would be the best pick, but Daniel Bryan's probably never going to wrestle again in WWE because of his injuries. So, it's one of those things where you look at the roster, who would be a good pick for Angle to wrestle? Well, I don't know if I want to see him against Roman Reigns. Him against Samoa Joe and him against AJ Styles would be absolutely phenomenal. Him against Shinsuke Nakamura, if Nakamura has his working boots, would be my ideal match. I just hope that if he does wrestle Triple H, it's not his only match. I think he, I want him to have matches with some of these young guys. Also, can you imagine how amazing a Kurt Angle versus Seth Rollins match would be? Seth Rollins so athletic. He can bump for Kurt. We can see suplexes. We can see twisting phoenixes. That would be so awesome, the story those guys can tell. I don't want to see just Kurt wrestle Triple H at Mania and then disappear again. I I don't want to see that. But if he is going to do it, I do want him to wrestle, you know, other guys as well. But that is the spoiler that it's supposed to have something to do with an illegitimate child leading to the return of Stephanie. I don't know if the Kurt Angle Triple H match is going to be at WrestleMania or at SummerSlam. I'm guessing they're going to hold off on it, but... I don't really have all the answers. So let me know in the comments what you think. And again, this is information that I got from a friend of a friend and things could change. um, Because when they first came up with this storyline, this is going to sound silly, but if you know about WWE, you know that I'm being honest here. When they first came up with this storyline, they didn't even know what the blow-off was going to be. Like They just came up with it and then thought of it later. These guys write week to week sometimes. They have plans, but they sometimes, with the smaller stuff, not the big picture stuff they would, um, you know, come up with it week to week. So anyways, let me know what you think. Thank you, as always, for checking out the videos here on World of Geekdom, where I talk wrestling, movies, and life, and so much more. Talk to you later.